We want to find the partial fractions expansion of this rational function. Now to begin with, you've got to be very careful that you uh, look for something which is in the right form. So let's first of all write down the correct form. Now, here's the correct form. You see why there's a, there are two terms here. It's because the x plus 1 is squared. So you have to have an a over x plus 1 and then another term b over x plus 1 squared. Now if you don't do this, you'll end up having it not work out. Of course, this is an irreducible quadratic because the b squared minus 4ac is negative, so you cannot factor this using real numbers. And so the term uh, in the partial fractions expansion that corresponds to this factor is right here. So now all we have to do is find a, b, c, and d. Multiply both sides by this denominator. Then when you do, you get this is equal to this. Okay, first of all, let x equal to negative 1 because if you do, this term will disappear and this term will disappear and so you'll have b times something equaling something when you plug in x equal to negative 1. So when you do that, you have b times 1 is equal to 2 because 2 is the thing you get when you put a negative 1 wherever you see an x in here. So b is equal to 2. See, I found one of them already. Well now, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to go back to this expression here, put b equal to 2 here, and then subtract 2 times this from both sides. So that's what was done here. And then when we've done that, everything simplified a little bit and we ended up getting uh, this right here. Okay. Now the next step is to divide both sides here with x plus 1. Divide both sides by x plus 1. When you do that, you get this. Okay. If you like, you can use synthetic division to do the division uh, more easily. All right, so we end up with uh, this expression here. Now, what we'll do is again let x equal to negative 1. And when we do that, we have 1 times a is equal to 1. So now I found a and I found b. So, so the next step is to uh, observe that we have this occurring. See, we found what a was, so we're going to put 1 for a here, subtract it from both sides, and then we have cx plus d times x plus 1 equaling to x squared plus x. Well, I'll just divide both sides by x plus 1, and that gives cx plus d is equal to x, so c is equal to 1 and d is equal to 0. And so here is the uh, partial fractions expansion. Now when you do a partial fractions expansion, it's a good idea to check your work. So you just add the fractions and see if you get the original rational function. In this case, you do. So we got the answer right.